In a world of mechanical might and electrifying battles, one name stands out among the ranks of the Autobots, RC. As a beacon of strength and resilience, she defies expectations, proving that courage and heroism know no gender. With her sleek pink frame and indomitable spirit, RC is the epitome of grace and motion. But RC is more than a fierce warrior. She carries an empathetic spark that fuels her bonds with allies and her determination to protect all life. She also has an interesting relationship with Optimus Prime in various iterations of the Transformers material. Without further ado, let's kickstart today's video and dive into all that we know about RC's anatomy. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. How did RC come into existence? It's well known that this pink Autobot was the first ever female Autobot to be designed and created for the Transformers universe. She was essentially the one that got the ball rolling for all the female Autobots that came after her. However, how did her creation take place? In the original Generation 1 Transformers continuity, RC's creation was intrinsically tied to the Autobot cause. According to G1 history, the Transformers, who we know are sentient robots hailing from the planet Cybertron, were created by a robotic alien race called the Quintessons. These Quintessons essentially constructed the Transformers to serve as their personal labor force. However, the Transformers eventually eventually rebelled against the dictatorial creators and fought for their own freedom. RC, along with the other Autobots, was part of this rebellion. Created as a warrior and a member of the Autobot forces, RC fought against the oppressive rule of the Quintessons, becoming a symbol of resilience and resistance herself. However, as the Transformers franchise expanded, different versions and continuities have explored other unique origin stories for RC. In some iterations, RC was depicted as the first female Autobot, introduced to add diversity to the Transformers ranks. This concept often originated from the idea that Transformers were initially genderless beings, but as their civilization developed, gender distinctions emerged to enhance their individuality and depth. There are also alternative explanations for RC's creation. For example, in the Transformers Prime animated series, RC's origins were explored. In this continuity, she was part of the Autobot elite and was entrusted with guarding a relic known as the Forge of Solace Prime. RC's existence in this version was attributed to the Autobot leader, Optimus Prime, who reformed her from an existing Autobot named Tailgate, infusing her with new purpose and abilities. The live-action Bayverse movies introduced another unique take on Arcee's creation. In Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Arcee was depicted as a trio of motorcycle sisters sharing one consciousness. Arcee, Chromia, and Alita One transformed into individual motorcycles, each bringing their unique skills and personalities to the collective entity. This portrayal highlighted the idea idea of sisterhood and the bond between these three formidable Autobots. It's worth noting that with the vast Transformers multiverse, there are numerous other iterations and alternate continuities that explore Arcee's origins. Each adaptation adds to its own nuances and interpretations, resulting in a rich tapestry of stories and lore surrounding the character. What we can say for sure is that she is the first of her kind and continues to be the prototype for all female Autobots. How the design and appearance of RC evolved through various versions of Transformers. Over the years, RC's design and appearance have evolved significantly through the various versions of Transformers, reflecting the changing aesthetics and storytelling tone of the franchise. In this segment, we will delve into the characteristics of major versions such as the G1 animated series, Beast Wars, and Bayverse. In the original Generation 1 animated series, RC made her debut as a sleek pink and white Autobot. Her design emphasized a humanoid form with a distinctly feminine appearance, complete with a faceplate, blue eyes, and a slender physique. Her transformation saw her assume the shape of a futuristic car, often with wings or spoiler-like appendages. Her G1 incarnation emphasized a balanced blend of femininity, strength, and elegance. The Beast War era, however, is the one that is most remembered by fans. It introduced a fresh take on Arcee's design. Here, she transformed into a transmetal motorcycle, combining the sleekness of her G1 
Pokemon counterpart with a more organic, animalistic aesthetic. Arcee's appearance in Beast Wars featured metallic hues, angular edges, and a streamlined design that matched the technological advancements in the storyline. The live-action Bayverse movies further presented a bold reimagination of Arcee's character. As we said in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Arcee was portrayed as one Transformer in a trio of motorcycle sisters, each contributing to a collective consciousness. This interpretation showcased a grittier, mechanized style that aligned with the movie's visual tone. It's worth noting that RC has undergone other changes and interpretations in subsequent Transformers media, such as animated series like Transformers Prime and Transformers Cyberverse. Each iteration adds unique touches and adaptations while still retaining the essence of RC as a strong, agile, and courageous Autobot. RC's design evolution throughout the Transformers franchise reflects the creative vision and technological advancements of their respective eras, from the feminine elegance of the G1 series to the animalistic flair of Beast Wars and the modernized, battle-ready appearance of the Bayverse. RC's transformations demonstrate the franchise's ability to adapt and captivate audiences with fresh interpretations while also honoring the core aspects of the beloved character. What does RC transform into? RC has been depicted assuming various vehicle forms throughout different story arcs and continuities. Let's explore some of the specific vehicles RC has transformed to in notable storylines. In Transformers Generation 1, she was voiced by Susan Blue. RC had the ability to turn into a pink convertible, which was incredibly Barbie coated and went perfectly with her pink and white design. This alternate mode resembled a sleek, compact car with aerodynamic features. In the Transformers Prime animated series, RC adopted a motorcycle alternate mode. Her design in this continuity showcased a sleek and futuristic motorcycle, often with a blue and black color scheme. This version of RC was known for her agility and combat prowess, and it also cemented her memory in the minds of fans as the sleek motorcycle transformer. Next, in the live-action Bayverse movie, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, RC, Chromia, and Alita One transform into individual motorcycles, each with a distinct appearance. Their motorcycle forms reflected a modern modern and aggressive aesthetic, featuring a combination of black, blue, and silver colors. Later, in the IDW comics series Transformers More Than Meets the Eye, RC's alternate mode diverged from the traditional motorcycle form. Instead, she transformed into a modified open-top sports car, featuring a striking red and white color scheme. This portrayal of RC showcased a sleek and stylish design, aligning with the comic's art style and narrative. Most recently, voiced by Liza Koshi in Transformers Rise of the Beast, RC is seen transforming into a red and white Ducati 916 motorcycle, bringing back her iconic motorcycle era. How powerful is RC across the various versions of Transformers? RC, the iconic Autobot from the Transformers franchise, has showcased impressive power and capabilities across various versions and continuities. While her specific power level may vary, RC has always proved to be a formidable warrior, highly skilled in combat, making her a valuable asset to the Autobot cause. In terms of combat skills, RC is often portrayed as an exceptional fighter in most versions, if not all. Her insane agility, speed, and precision make her a formidable opponent. She's more than capable of taking down enemies with grace and efficiency. Whether engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat or utilizing her ranged weaponry, RC's battle prowess is evident. She has often shown mastery in various fighting skills, making her a versatile and adaptable force in battle. RC's physical strength and durability, while not on the same scale as larger Autobots, are notable for her size. Considering she's usually thought to be between 7 and 9 feet tall, she possesses a remarkable level of strength that allows her to hold her own against opponents. Additionally, her durability enables her to endure significant damage and sustain troublesome injuries in intense battles. While RC may not possess the raw power of some of her fellow, mostly male Autobots, her combination of agility, combat skills, and durability allows her to compensate for her lesser power and hold her ground against more powerful foes. Another aspect that contributes to RC's power is her Transformers weaponry and arsenal. RC is often equipped with an array of advanced 
advanced and high-tech weapons, ranging from blasters and energy swords to other specialized tools. Her weapons are designed to maximize her combat effectiveness, whether it be for long-range attacks or close-up engagements. RC's proficiency with her weaponry adds to her overall power level and makes her a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. In addition to her physical prowess, RC's intelligence, resourcefulness, and strategic thinking further make her fearsome. She's often depicted as a skilled tactician and a valuable member of the Autobot team. RC's ability to think on her feet, analyze situations, and make quick decisions contributes to her effectiveness in combat and mission success. However, it's important to note that RC's power level can vary between different versions and continuities of Transformers. Each iteration has its own interpretation and depiction of RC's abilities and strengths. While some versions emphasize her physical combat skills and agility, others focus on her intelligence and strategic thinking. As a result, the extent of RC's powers may differ depending on the specific storylines and adaptations. Although IDW RC is often considered to be the most powerful version of this female Autobot, she has a lot of power because before they tamed her, she was a murderous, psychotic lunatic for parts of the series. Her abilities were at her highest and most severe in that state. Overall, across the various versions of Transformers, RC consistently exhibits remarkable powers and capabilities. Her combat skills, strength, durability, weaponry, and intelligence make her a force to be reckoned with. What is the function of RC's Super Sharp Blades? RC's Super Sharp Blades serve multiple functions and play a significant role in her combat style and effectiveness as a warrior on the Autobot team. RC's blades are primarily used for melee combat. They allow her to engage enemies in close quarters combat, where her agility and precision truly shine through. With her swift movements and mastery of swordsmanship, RC can easily deliver devastating strikes and slashes with her blades. RC's blades also possess incredible sharp enabling her to cut through various materials with ease. Whether it's slicing through enemy armor, severing obstacles, or disabling machinery, RC's blades are incredibly effective tools for precise and powerful cutting actions. In some versions and continuities, RC's blades can also be attached or combined with her other weapons, enhancing their power and versatility multifold. For example, her blades may be used in conjunction with her blasters or firearms, creating a dual-wielding approach that combines ranged attacks with deadly close range attacks. Like many other multifunctional weapons, RC's blades also serve as defensive tools. She can use them to parry and block incoming attacks, deflect projectiles, or create a defensive barrier against opponents. Their sharp edges and precise control enable her to defend herself while maintaining offensive capabilities. The blades also contribute to her stealthy approach and allow her to swiftly eliminate enemies without alerting others. The sharpness and size of her blades enable her to make precise, silent strikes and ensuring quick and efficient takedowns while maintaining a low profile. Interestingly, beyond their functional purposes, RC's blade also serve as a symbolic representation of her warrior nature and commitment to the Autobot cause. They embody her strength, determination, and readiness to fight against the Decepticons and protect the innocent. The blades visually reinforce her identity as a fierce and capable Autobot warrior. What do you think? Tell us in the comments below. Exploring the unique features of RC's eyes. Most recently in Transformers Rise of the Beast, we saw RC demonstrate an incredible, unique ability, the ability to analyze whoever is in her field of vision. Through this, she is able to analyze them and get information and even project that information in front of her for others around her to see. In fact, when the main human protagonist, Noah Diaz, first appears in front of her in the latest movie, she is quickly able to scan him and extract all possible information. This is quite a cool ability considering that it makes her great at research and reconnaissance, making her an asset for the Autobots. Did Optimus Prime and RC have a romantic relationship? There has always existed a unique relationship between RC and Optimus Prime. RC considers Optimus Prime to be a fantastic friend and leader, and she once told Ratchet that she would sacrifice her life for him. RC and Optimus Prime share an interesting and complex relationship that has been explored in various iterations of the Transformers franchise. While their romantic connection is not a consistent element across all versions of Transformers, there have been instances where hints of a deeper bond or 
close friendship have, in fact, been portrayed. In certain continuities, especially in the animated series like Transformers Prime, RC and Optimus Prime's relationship is depicted as one of trust, respect, and mutual admiration. They often work closely together as allies and share a deep connection forged through their shared experiences in ongoing battles against the Decepticons. RC often looks up to Optimus Prime as a wise and courageous leader, while Optimus Prime has also been shown to value RC's skills, loyalty, and dedication to the Autobot cause. While romantic elements between RC and Optimus Prime have not been explicitly explored in most versions of Transformers, there are instances where fans have interpreted subtle hints of a deeper connection between the two characters, leading to quite a few of them shipping these two Autobots. These romantic interpretations stem from their strong bond, the trust they placed in each other, and the moments of emotional support they provide each other. Notably, in Transformers Prime, RC harbors feelings of grief and guilt over the loss of her previous partner, Cliffjumper. Optimus Prime, understanding her pain, offers solace and emotional support, showcasing a deeper understanding and connection between them. Their interactions display a sense of empathy, with Optimus Prime providing guidance and comfort to RC during her moments of vulnerability. It's important to note that the relationship between RC and Optimus Prime is open to interpretation and personal preference of fans. While some fans may perceive a romantic undertone in their interactions, others view their relationship purely as a close friendship and partnership. Could RC be killed, or was she indestructible? RC might be one tough Autobot, but she's definitely not indestructible. In fact, RC was notably killed off in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, as Nest invaded Shanghai to deal with Demolisher. RC and her sisters were kept in reserve. They weren't called into action until Sideways, a second Decepticon, was discovered. The sisters and the twins chased the cunning speedster through Shanghai's streets, crashing through structures and everything else that stood in their way, but they weren't able to deal much damage so Sideswipe was called up to bat and quickly dispatched sideways. The US government decided that the Autobots would be sent back to Diego Garcia when the Fallen gave Earth an ultimatum. But Nest disobeyed the directives and instead sent RC and other Autobots to Egypt. On the advice of Sam Witwicky, who had what was needed to revive the recently deceased Optimus Prime, the sisters arrived with Ironhide during their pivotal fight between Nest and the Fallen's Decepticons to aid Sam and Michaela in navigating the conflict area. Alita-1 was killed instantaneously when a Decepticon shot her in the head shortly after finding Sam. The next victim was Arcee, who was fatally wounded after being shot by a Decepticon. Later, a card with her photo on it was shown in Age of Extinction with a red X on it, indicating that she had passed away. Thus, while her fighting ability is definitely up there, she is by no means immortal. Aye, aye, aye. Hey, over here, kitty kitty. How did Rise of the Beasts fix a glaring anomaly in previous movie adaptations by featuring RC? RC was originally intended to be one of the primary Autobots in Michael Bay's original Transformers movie plot. This decision was made when authors Don Murphy and Tom DeSanto were working on an approach during the early stages of the project's development. Along with Wheeljack, Optimus Prime, Ratchet, Ironhide, Prowl, Jazz, and Bumblebee, RC was supposed to be a part of the Autobot team. The movie was thus supposed to feature her as the lone female Autobot. Even after Roberto Orsi and Alex Kurtzman were chosen as the movie's final writers, RC's part in Transformers remained. RC was not removed from the screenplay for Michael Bay's Transformers until far later into the production. RC's removal from Transformers was motivated by mostly two factors. Ultimately, Orsi and Kurtzman came to the conclusion that attempting to explain robotic gender would be too challenging, and the classic motorbike alt form of RC didn't sit well with Michael Bay either. The the creative team eventually decided to include the female Autobot, even though this resulted in the choice that she wouldn't make an appearance in the first movie in the franchise. RC made an appearance in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, where she was killed off since Michael Bay himself didn't personally like the character on screen. She was also briefly visible in Bumblebee. It can thus be said that she's received quite unfair treatment as far as the big screen is concerned. However, having been most recently in Transformers Rise of the Beasts, RC is at last receiving the credit she well deserves 
deserves. The character is not overlooked in this one, as she has been in every other movie. Instead, she's a key player in the Autobot team in the seventh film in the series, joining Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and Mirage. Go and see RC in her full glory in the new movie. That's all we'll say to avoid any major spoilers. Transformers Rise of the Beast was released on the 9th of June and has since taken the world by storm. RC's inclusion is a definite plus, and fans are glad to finally see her get her time in the spotlight. Which version of RC is your favorite? Tell us in the comments section below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!